Hi, I'm Dan Siskin, and welcome to Brickmania TV, episode 18. And I'm the other guy. He's the other guy, <laughs> Landon Reimer. Hey. <laughs> all right, what's first up on the show? Well, we'll just get the, the new releases, the specials, and all that stuff over, over and done with, because we've got a special uh, Star Wars-related uh, uh, episode today. Do we? It's kind of weird, because nice. Brickmania is not normally known for our Star <laughs> Wars, but we... <laughs> our Star Wars activities, but we do have a Star Wars display at the Toy Works, which we'll oh, be yeah. talking about later. Uh, so let's just get right in it. First, uh, uh, Lando here has a has a, a, a new minifigure that he yes. put out. It's a special minifigure. I've been working on this bad boy for quite a bit. This is a Panzer Crewman with full dot .44 camouflage. So the camouflage, it took me quite a while to get it just right, but I think it looks great. And uh, yeah, this is a very limited figure. Go yeah, fast. so who, who wore the dot .44 camouflage? So I, you're going to have to help me on the pronunciation of this. Sure, okay. The, right. the Le it starts with an L. Lieber? Oh, Lieb standard, right? Lieb, right, <laughs> right. No, so this was like supposedly the, the, the best of the best. Yep, the, uh, was it the LAH uh, Panzer Division. Yep. Um, um, so I have, the, yeah, I included the uh, arm sleeve on that and the eagle on the side. Um, Basically, these were the baddest of the baddest yeah. German Panzer guys. Um, you know, if, if you were this guy and you got captured by a Russian, you'd probably be shot instantly. Mm -hmm. um, executed on the spot. Um, they were wanted. A lot of them were wanted for uh, good reason. They did yep. war crimes, atrocities. Um, but, you know, that's, that's, yep. that's World War II. It's in the past. And, of yep. course, if you want to have your Panzer Troop in, your, 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 your vehicles have the most historically accurate. Uh, oh, historically uh, accurate uh, figure uh, right there. Yeah, for a toy. I think you're gonna. About, this is about as close as we're gonna get. And Landon really hit it out of the ballpark with this. Yeah, one. thank you, thank you. Cool. Um, what else we got? Well, this week we have for a kit we have the um, M16. It's a quad, basically machine gun, um, motor carriage. M16 MGMC. It is a M3 half track with a quad 50 caliber anti-aircraft mount machine gun on it. So. These guys are sent to Europe um, and even in the Pacific too, as anti-aircraft, um, you know, ar armored anti-aircraft to go with uh, the armored units. Right. Um, turns out that the, by the time the Americans got to, to Europe, most of the Luftwaffe the air threat was gone. So these were used extensively as uh, anti-infantry. Yep. They slightly repurposed it. Yeah. They still had. They're, they're still. Uh, you know, they still use them as anti-aircraft batteries. So that's like where it got its nickname. The Krautmower. Yes. Kraut mower. Yeah, it was notorious called the Krautmower. Um, I mean, it's pretty badass. You've got f uh, four 50 caliber uh, Browning machine guns. Yep. Um, could be elevated up in, the, up in the air, obviously, but also trained against uh, ground targets. Right. Um, yeah, kraut, kraut mower, meat choppers, all kinds of, yep. of, of grisly uh, humor uh, attached to that. Right, right. So another, uh, I mean, one of the most famous uh, uses was this, when the, uh, the Americans crossed the, they captured the Ludendorff Bridge intact, crossing the Rhine. Um, they rate, they basically, uh, became a high value target for the Luftwaffe because uh, it was the last uh, natural, the Rhine was the last natural barrier into Germany. Right. Americans seized a bridge. Uh, they sent ahead all these, these uh, M16s to guard it from a uh, German air attack and, and sounds, you know, for good reason. Right. Um, so you see a lot of pictures of that in, in the history books. Um, cool. So this kit comes with three guys, Yep, right? it's three guys. And it's three guys. This is a limited edition kit. You basically, right. it's an M3 half track with the mount on it, the quad mount, and you get the M10 uh, ammunition carrier um, trailer. So this is, uh, um, you know, I think we're only making 100 of this kit, and then once that's gone, they're gone. Yeah. Um, cool feature about it, does have the, uh, the winch on the front. Yeah. Um, doors open, uh, you know, it's, it's a new hefty half track, uh, utilizing the new one and a half wide Brickmania track links. Uh, trailer has, you, know, you can take the top off the ammunition trailer, it has the, the lit, you know, usual tailgate. Um, so that's cool kind of the features of that one. Um, Going with that, you got the restock. Sure. Right? Um, yeah, we released this about a month ago. This is the uh, M3 Scout car. It comes with a nice set of stickers, both of these do. But these sold out within just a few weeks. Yeah. And uh, basically, we have another batch. We did it as fast as we could. This time of year, it's a little tough because uh, uh, demand certainly outstrips our ability to yep. keep up. So we have another batch of these coming off the assembly line this week. Get them while you can. Um, and then we also have another new release. New release. Um, it is a Roglin's decals, uh, Oakfall Mercenary, and it's a complete minifigure. Or decals for a complete minifigure. Um, yeah. 
pretty cool. Sure, there's going to be some specials this week. Um, maybe we'll recap those at the end of the episode. Sure. So stay tuned. Watch this really cool uh, feature on Jesse's Star Wars display. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, I am here with Jesse from the Lego, the Greater Midwestern Lego Train Club, right here at the Brickmania Toy Works. Hello, hello. Um, and he has a really awesome layout for us to show it here. So this is Star Wars. Dun, dun, so tell dun, us a little dun, bit about dun, it. Dun, 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 dun. Yes. <laughs> Star Wars. Uh, it's the layout I've been kind of dreaming about since the trailer came out for the new movie, yeah. Episode Seven drops. Mm -hmm. They opened with this Star Destroyer crashed in a desert planet, which right. happens to be Jakku. And uh, I knew that would be my centerpiece. Yeah. So how did, how did you, you just broke apart the trailer a lot? Any other materials you drew, drew from? Yeah, there was a teaser I think came out in July. Cool. And uh, then the sets Lego released in September. So right. there were teasers, they yeah, call yeah. them, you know, before the trailer. Cool. That, that were available. So some of the ships are older, some of the ships are newer, yep. based on what I expect to see. Exactly. Cool. Well, why don't you just uh, take us through this thing? What's, uh, what's your favorite thing on this layout right now? Um, most people's favorite and mine is probably the AT-ATs. Yeah. We have a lighting effect on one of them live. Uh, I know most of them will, will be damaged in the new movie. So we have two, one lane forward that classically trip down, yep, yep. desert uh, buried in the sand, and then another one lane sideways. And it's really 30 years after a war happened, cool. so there's going to be a lot of uh, battle damage. Yeah, yeah. So you can kind of see that on the centerpiece also, the Star Destroyer. Um, yep. The guts are, are mostly a set, but I, I expanded it to a larger scale, aged it so it is right. uh, battle damaged. And uh, So I was talking to you earlier about this. I think some of these are sets, or are they all your own creation, like modified sets, kind of. Um, it's mo it's I would, what I would call mo modified right, and right, right. custom sets. Cool. So only a few uh, ideas were taken from like right. set and set. So the, so the Star Destroyer has key pieces that I just kind of kept yeah. intact and modified it. Right. Altered it. Cool. It's uh, got little minifigures on yep. it if you look really closely. So instead of the normal minifig, you have basically what they call a trophy figure. Right. Um, it could be held in the hand of a minifigure. And uh, we like to mash up themes in here. You'll see also in front of the Sarlacc pit that Iron Man is there instead of Bobo Fett. Oh, right, right. <laughs> so we're That's not the only, you have the, uh, space, uh, the Spaceballs Winnebago over there. Spaceballs <laughs> Winnebago right here is that fresh. That awesome. We just watched the movie and got inspired because it actually crashes on a desert planet. Yeah, it's very They're fitting. are playing with the fitting. movie of Star Wars, of course, and Spaceballs, so we like to have fun with it too. Cool, cool. I really, that Starlight Pit's awesome. Um, Thank you. You did a cool job on that. Um, yeah, even though that's more from the original series, I don't think they'll have one in this new movie. I, I mixed Tatooine and Jack Who planets sure, sure. to give familiarity to, the, to right. the crowd when they come to see it. I mean, you only have so much source material right now. So. Right. So, uh, cool. like a lot of projects, they're always adapting and yeah. changing a little bit so um one other thing i saw you working on was this star wars front um i yeah. thought that turned out really great thank you yeah that actually took me almost half the time of right. the whole project <laughs> uh it's very brick intensive yeah as you can tell up close uh each letter kind of demanded a different height and then i would work backwards and by the time i got to the r this this rounded shape was perfect yeah yeah so then i go backwards and make this a little bit uh smaller and drop this That's and cool. and uh it turned out really well that i haven't seen anyone lego out star wars yeah, font yeah. to that to that caliber cool cool um something else we want to check out here is the internals so this is on like a train track right right so i kind of call this a slot car racer cool and you can see it going around, and it's also going up and down. Yep, yep. Uh, and inside, we have uh, a train track. Nice. Being a train club, we like to use the Lego train tracks. And you can see typical train cars uh, and power functions. And you can see the up and down motion on the ships are run by a gear. So there's just one motor doing all, all the ships up and down? Or? One battery, uh, but I have two uh, motors. Okay. The normal tra train car moves it backwards or right, forwards. Right, right. 
And ludicrous speed coming up. <laughs> We're going to fly off the track. Yeah. It's actually been very reliable. Yeah? Other than a hand pointing and touching it, right. it can really cruise around. And that's I'll not always the case with these trains. We <laughs> no, we're usually here for uh, maintenance and support or right. whatnot, uh, answering questions, of course. Cool. Well, this yeah, this is a really awesome layout. It turned out really great. Um, I guess, yeah, if, if people want to see it, where, uh, where can they see it? So this is well, at the train club right now. We are located at Brickmania Toy yep. Works, and uh, we're open every second Saturday of the month. So uh, we have some extra hours during the holidays, so you can still come see it here um, by the time this airs, the last yeah, we'll Saturday see. of December. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> we'll still be open after awesome. Christmas, I believe, so come, come check us out yeah. uh, before or after the movie, um, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll happy to show it. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the Star Wars layout. It's uh, super awesome. So if you have a chance, check it out. All right, thank you very much. Thanks. Well, wasn't that awesome? That was awesome. So, in honor of that movie that came out last week, we are having a special. Yes, what is that special, Dan? <laughs> it is bulk uh, discounts on all Star Wars-inspired brick arms yep. weapons this week. So, it's bulk deal, usual bulk deal rules apply. So, it's buy 10, get one free. How does that go? Well, it's buy 10, get 10% off. Oh, 10 buy 20, off. get 20%. Yeah. It's on the same weapon. So, right. All your clones, all your stormtroopers, things that you have to buy in multiples anyway, right. you can get it, stock up now, and save. And we are also doing a bulk brick arms on World War II stuff. World so War II Americans, yeah. that's right, for, in honor of the two American sets we have cool. coming out this week. Uh, so bulk American brick arms, look, for, uh, look at the website to see which ones those are, yep. which ones aren't special. And also going with the Kraut mower, we have a bulk, uh, or buy one, get one on American select decals, select American decals. Yep, from World War II decals from Rogue One's Customs. Yep. And then also, this is the, this is the real uh, clincher. Starting today, all orders over $100 to select the locations will be eligible for free shipping. Nice. This is going to be going for a little while. I think we're going to do it at least till the end of the year. Cool. Um, we didn't do it before the holidays because we were worried that the free shipping might not get there in time. And we didn't want people to, uh, to check the, 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 the right. select the, the cheaper shipping when uh, we couldn't guarantee it. So now the holidays are upon us a couple days from now. You may not be able to get your order by Christmas with the free shipping, but anyway, it's going to be, it's our gift to you. Right. Free shipping, select countries, U.S. for sure, Canada, uh, and the usual countries that we can, uh, we can offer this to. Awesome, awesome. Well, anything else we got? No, I think that's it for this week. All right, thank you very much for watching. Yes, and happy holidays. I'm Lou, Luke Skywalker. I live on Desert Planet. Oh no, the evil space government killed my cousin and stepsister. I'll get you back, evil space government. Ah, uh, I'm out of control and I'm about to crash. <laughs> oh no, I crashed my hexwing fighter on the swamp planet of Legolas. However, will I get it out? I'm not a planet. Hey, I'm Dan Solo. Instead of something mystical and character building, I'll fly to safety on my ship, the Milwaukee and Fulcrum. But we needed a rescue of special princess. It's your as fast as ship can do the pretzel run in less than 12 Star Treks. Hold on, I need to. No time. We need to go visit my friend Lando in regular city. Regular city? It's a city built entirely on land. It's incredible. <laughs> na 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 cough song is Star Wars not... Hey, it's my good friend Lando! Oh my goodness, I do not want to be in your movie right now. Seriously, like, I gotta get this done. No, Lando betrayed us! 
That's right. Just as I planned. Now we will blow up Earth with my space gun that fires one big laser made out of several smaller lasers. No, I'm here to stop you. Oh no, I am defeated. That's right, you are. But don't worry, I will be back in a non-canon prequel that melts your brain with terrible CGI and emotionless acting. Ha ha ha. No. Dun, da, da, dun, da, dun, 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 dun,